Jay heeft mijn eerste show ooit in L.A. geboekt. Ik woonde in Nashville en ik kende niemand in L.A. En hij had een avond één keer in de week uh, bij een hele mooie kroeg voor songwriters. En ik had vier liedjes. Dat was het. En uh, ik stuurde hem een e-mail via MySpace. Dat was nog gaaf. En um, hij zei ja. En zo kennen we elkaar al heel lang. Dus ik ben Jay eigenlijk heel dankbaar voor de eerste kans. I think you said something about um, thanking me for your entire career, <laughs> and uh, none of it would have been possible um, without you, without my steady and faithful support over basically. the years, yeah, and for giving you your first big chance on a large stage in a giant venue. <laughs> Tiny. And that you like me a lot. Yeah, you're a good friend. <laughs> I concur. It's gonna be sad. You guys know, I, I think most of you know the story. I wrote this song. Um, I went to Paris one time by myself. So um, what I learned is that you should never do that. <laughs> And uh, a few days after I got there, I got an email letting me know that I had been dumped. Aww. And then I tried to get out of Paris, and I missed my train to get out of Paris, so I had to spend an extra day in Paris. I had all my stuff, and then it started raining. <laughs> and then I sought, I, uh, sought refuge in a guitar store, and I saw a guitar. I was like, you know what, I'll buy a guitar. And I found the guitar that I wanted to buy, and the shopkeeper goes, no. <laughs> BC's for kids. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay, I think I'd like to buy it. He said, no. This happened. But I bought it. I mean, it took me an hour and a half, but I bought it. You know? So then I'm just the American cliche in Paris. Backpack, guitar, aviator sunglasses. It was 2006. <laughs> George W. Bush was president. The Parisians could smell the American on me. <laughs> they didn't like me. So I. I wandered down to this park and I sat down on this bench. I was alone. I was so happy to be alone for a minute. I was like, I'm going to write a sad song. I'm going to spend the afternoon by myself. And then I wasn't alone anymore. A broad shouldered woman sat down next to me. She had a shaved head, three teeth in her mouth. Three. And a liter of malt liquor. And by the smell of things, she had not been home in a long, long time. And then her ex husband sits down on the other side of me. He also had a liter of malt liquor. They got into an argument. I don't think he had been home in a while either. Maybe never. And so I tried to get up and, and leave them to have their argument. And they said, no. <laughs> so we spent the afternoon together. Wrote this song. True story. Oh, it's my 